This is a critical iPhone feature. When you say, hey Siri, I'm getting pulled over, I'm going to show you how to set this shortcut up and go through everything that it will do. By simply saying those words, it will pause any music that you have playing. It'll turn the brightness down on your screen. It'll put your phone in silent mode and it will also turn on do not disturb. And these are important features because of all of the things that it's going to do next, which is send a text to anyone you want that says, I'm getting pulled over, here's my location just in case. Next, it's going to get your location and text it to any of those people that you want. From there, it's going to start taking video and you can take the video from your front or rear facing camera, depending on where you keep the phone in your car. Once it's done, you can send that video once again to anyone you want, and then it will save the video to your photos. You can also save it to Dropbox or iCloud as well. So let's get started on this step-by-step -step tutorial. Tap right down here in search, and then you're just going to type in shortcuts, and I have it right here. Once you open this in the top right, tap on the plus right there. And then from here, we're going to create a new shortcut. And the first thing you're going to do right in the search actions is you're gonna type in play, pause. And then you're going to choose the play or pause right here. And that's going to pause any music that you have on your iPhone. Next in the search action, you're going to turn on brightness and you're going to tap right here on set brightness. And then I recommend you set this anywhere from zero to 10%. I like it set to zero. Then it's harder to tell that the phone is actually recording. Once you're done there, go back down into search actions. From here, we're gonna put our, mode, our phone into silent mode. So just type in silent and choose silent mode right here. That way, if people start texting you back, your phone's not going off. And then this one's optional, but I also like to put in the do not disturb. What you're gonna do is tap on set focus, and then right here, do not disturb. You can tap on off, you can have it turned on, you can have it turned off until you turn it off, or when you leave, meaning once you leave the situation, or the event ends, but I recommend either turned off or when you leave, that one's up to you. And next, we're gonna go down into the search actions once again. And from here, you're going to send a text. So we're just gonna tap right here. If you don't see send already, put send. And then what you're going to do is tap here on send message. And from here, you're going to tap right here into message. And then I won't type this all out for you, but I recommend you put in, I'm getting pulled over this is my location just in case. And then tap done once you've typed that. And then you're just gonna tap right here on recipients and you can choose anybody out of your contact list or just type in a phone number and it will automatically send that text to them. Next, we wanna get the current location. So you're just going to type in get current location here. And right there it is, so tap on Get Current Location. And once you get that, what you're going to do next is you're gonna tap back in the search bar, and if Send Message doesn't come up, just type in Send up here, and it will automatically then come up, but just tap on Send Message, and it automatically knows to send your current location to, and you're going to make sure and tap on recipients. One thing I wanna to touch on that I didn't before is this arrow right here with send. If you tap this, it'll make you confirm that you wanna send the message, which you want this to happen automatically. So turn off show when run. And then also right down here, you can have this to the nearest 100 meters or nearest kilometer. I like it to the nearest 10 meters. So it's really close. Also on this area, on this arrow right here, I want you to tap down there. And from here, you wanna turn off the show when run because you don't wanna ask it. It's automatically going to send that. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to take a video. So you're going to type in take video and right here that shows up. So you're gonna take video 
and right here as you can see you can choose if you tap back here you have the choice between back and front camera and that just kind of depends on where your phone is on your dashboard and where you keep it so you can choose back or front camera here next tap down in search actions right here and type in send if it doesn't automatically come up it probably will but just tap on send message right here once you tap that it'll automatically send this video to, and then you pick your recipients once again. Also, when you're done with that, tap that down arrow right here and turn off show when run because you don't want it to ask you to send this text message. You just want it to send automatically. Next, you wanna save that video. So you're going to tap down in search actions and just put save down here. And when you type in, that it'll put save to photos tap there and from here you can save the video in recents or any file you want if you also want to save it somewhere else you can also put save to a dropbox file save to icloud or save to anything else that you want i'm just going to cancel this out here and go back down so i've just saved it to my video recents one way you can test this is in recipients you can put in your own phone number just to test and see exactly what comes across it'll usually uh, go right through but it might double it up since it's your own phone sending it to your own phone but you can definitely do that when you're done with this tap this little arrow right here and then you're going to rename this and rename this hey Surrey, i'm getting pulled over once you do that you just tap done and then tap done right up top here. And now as soon as you say those words, then it's going to automatically start all of this process.